Hello everyone. In this video, you're going to learn how to graph uh, the lines of given equations. So, we are dealing with IXL as 7 slope intercept form, which is slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope that represents rise over run. and b is the y-intercept. x and y are the variables. So, the y-intercept, let's talk about what this means. Uh, point of intersection on the y-axis. Here is the y-axis, this vertical one that's called the y-axis if you have a line crossing that line whatever point that is is that point is called y-intercept if the line goes if the line crosses the x-axis at point six your x-intercept is going to be six if the line goes through negative two on the y-axis that means the y-intercept y equals to negative two that's what it means and the y-intercept is the b lowercase b in that formula. So you really want to start taking some notes on this lesson because it's going to be too much at once. So even though you have been introduced to the finding the slope and the y-intercept in the middle school. Okay, let's get started. Graph this line using the slope and y-intercept. All you have to do is make your equation look like this. Okay? And pair them up. Y's are the same. X's go together. So according to this, m equals to 4, right? m equals to 4. And then b equals to 5. What you have in front of x is the m, which is the slope, or rise over run, based on the question type you're dealing with. You can use either one of them. And the last number in the end, when the y is all by itself, that is important. The y should be all by itself. That's what makes it uh, the slope-intercept form. If someone asks you what slope-intercept form is, you should answer like this. Uh, any equation that has the y by itself, that's the slope-intercept form. Okay, now that's all you need. So our starting point is this actually out of 4 and 5 the only point that we have is the y-intercept or the lowercase b the other one tells us describes us a movement about like going up and right on and left those sort of things this describes a movement that's a location point b or the y-intercept those are points locations on the coordinate plane and the location of this y-intercept is 5. So you would plot a point at 5. You would just click that at that point. And then you would do this. Slope equals to 4, but what does that mean? If you remember, I said the slope means rise over run. You can write it as a fraction. If it's given as a whole number, all you have to do is this. If your slope is given as a whole number, just divide it by 1. Make it a fraction and then the number at the top tells you how many units you're going to rise the number in the bottom is going to tell you how many units you gotta go towards either right or left positive means up over here positives up negatives down in here run is this axis over here positives are like the right side negatives are the left side now start from five go rise four units because it is positive and then go right one unit so if I go up four from this point it's one two three four I'm not gonna plot anything in there because I need to run one more unit to the right side right here that's going to be my point so if I clear this up and plot another point up there that's my line that's all you have to do for this assignment find a y-intercept plot it do what the slope tells you to do to do by turning it into a fraction if it's given as a whole number. 
and then follow the numbers and the signs. So let's do another question. I'll get back one more level to the original level to do one more question in here. Uh, now, my slope, or let's just do it this way, m equals negative 1 over 3. You can use that negative for either 1 or 3. It doesn't matter. As long as there's only one negative, they mean the same thing. Uh, you'll do different movement but you'll end up with the same line anyways I want to I usually use it for the top number if there's a negative I put it on the, in front of the top number in the numerator and then that's my y-intercept the number in the end with its sign you need to include that sign as well b equals positive 8 and this is the y-intercept it describes a point a location on the coordinate plane so that's your starting point b equals 8 okay and then now what I do is this that's my rise but it's a negative number how am I gonna rise negatively it means go down so basically it tells me to go down one unit and then this is my run if it's positive it means run towards right side so this means right three units starting from your point down one right three one two three that's going to be my second point on the line right here so that would be my line okay let's do a question from the next level not going to do like a lot of questions because they are all given in the slope intercept form all you have to do is the first number that's your m if the numbers are positive it tells you to go the first one is rise the second one is run positive rise means go up one because the number is one run positive it means right seven and then the last number with the sign is your y-intercept plot the point y-intercept describes a point right here oops my bad how am I gonna okay if you hit on the same point it deletes it on the y-axis I have positive 2 I will go up 1 right 7 up 1 right 7 is right there that's my point let me move up one more le oh there's no other level so these are the only question types you're gonna end up with let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching guys and I will see you in another video